We're here with Lauren Mora for the Hometown Series, and uh, we're going to ask her a few questions about her art and uh, what she's doing right now. So, nice to join. Nice to see Thanks. you, Lauren. Thanks for having me. Great to be with you here <laughs> in your little home studio. Um, yeah, so you do all your art right here? This is where I do it. This is where you do it. I see you have some stuff on the wall. Yes, I do. Yeah. Cool. Some new, some old. Yeah. <laughs> so you do most of your stuff um, hand out or on your iPad or um, both? I've always been into drawing, so I drew it by hand, most of it. I like drawing with pen. Um, but lately, as of like the end of 2016, 2017, I invested in my iPad. So I'm trying to go digital and making that leap. So. A lot of my newer stuff is digital. Awesome, yeah. that's cool. So what is inspiring you to um, do this kind of art? I mean, you're doing drawings um, and you're putting them on cards. What else are you putting them on, like, you know? Um, a lot of it's just artwork for like your home. So okay. you could make prints and just frame them. I like making cards, like really little cards are like my favorite because I like when they're so small. Um, but aside from that, just looking to sell it for wherever you want to put it, um, nothing specific yet. <laughs> cool, cool. So, uh, where are you from? I'm from Caledonia, Michigan. Okay. Um, born and raised, farm town. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm from. Cool, and you're living in Holland right now, correct? Yes, yeah, so I live in Holland. Just moved here last March, so it's been about a year. I uh, just got married, so Yay. we settled out here, and it's been it's been really great. Love it here. Do you? Oh, oh okay. You love it here, so I was gonna ask you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's awesome. So you're here. Um, you have this beautiful space, and you're um, being inspired. What has made you do um, this art that you've you're doing today? Have you grown up with this talent, or has it been a Thing that has just recently started or yeah um, I've always been into drawing I started drawing probably like back in I don't know kindergarten third grade I have pretty specific memories of my art teacher like commending me on how I cut my paper and it's pretty weird but I just remember those specific moments of people that encouraged me from a really young age and it just kept me going and me and my friends would just draw for fun and then I think it wasn't until after high school that I realized that I really wanted to pursue it as something big in my life. I thought I would go for like psychology or social work because I really like people, but I don't know. It's just like it took the boldness and just me hearing within myself that this was like what I'm supposed to do and to just really go after it, even though it's definitely not the most secure, I don't know, set in stone path. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where it started and how I got here, yeah. So the way I kind of have been doing it lately, like I said, I always used to draw by hand, use like pen and ink, um, just sketching and things, but having this now, um, got the handy dandy Apple Pencil. Um, I just use Adobe Draw, which, I mean, I've heard there's better apps, which I'm hoping to explore, but for now, these are just different projects I've worked on. Um, some of these I did for the recent art show we had, um, and these are just like, um, just sketches that I start off with when I'm creating. Of course, it's not fully complete. The drawing goes over the edges. It might not be perfectly balanced or where I want it to be in the end, or the colors might be different. You can see I ended up changing the colors there versus on that one. They're just... Getting my ideas um, out has been really helpful having the iPad because it's just so quick. I don't need to get out all my supplies. I can just quick sketch ideas. Um, some of these, let me find one. Some of them I've actually been taking some of my old hand drawings 
and taking a picture of them, bringing them in digitally and cleaning up and going over the lines, which I've really, really enjoyed doing because it's just like helped um, give me more of a graphic style, which I've liked. Um, like I'll just take off, hide that layer and that layer and show you. This was the original drawing that I did um, on paper, which is cool, but of course my photo is terrible. <laughs> Um, but it was fun just to be able to transfer it um, into a digital medium and just see what it looked like. So then after I've drawn them on the iPad, how I like them, um, I'll show you the burger one for example, I'll bring it over to my laptop. I'll either put it in Illustrator or Photoshop by sharing it through the Creative Cloud and opening it up, resizing it, scaling it, um, centering it, whatever needs to be done to finish the, the drawing. And I'll just save it and print it however I want to. And that's it. How do you show your Christian lifestyle through the art that you're making right now? Um, I feel like it just comes naturally. Um, just like knowing God, He's always in my thoughts and always like giving me ideas and curiosities about things that I don't know if I would have just on my own so I feel like he just kind of gives me an idea and I just go with it and I dig into it and think about it more so I don't know I think my art is kind of a reflection of that just naturally I don't really try to make it Christian but I don't know it just shows my heart and just the way he speaks to me is through that way and through curiosity and so yeah awesome <laughs> cool so then um out of all this artwork you got going on, where can you buy this artwork? Yeah, um, I'm kind of a noob, to be honest. I'm just now trying to like get my art out there, get my life together in that way. So I'm putting together an Etsy shop. Um, I'll have Molly attach the link uh, after the interview. And aside from that, I'll probably make an Instagram account and just start posting things there. So yeah, maybe that link will be there as well. Awesome. And do you have anything else you want to say? Any shameless promotion or, yeah, for yourself? <laughs> I don't really know. If you like my art, buy it. If you don't, that's okay. It'll fit somebody. But aside from that, I just wanted to share just like the importance of having friends and community that encourages you because that has been probably the biggest thing for me is having people in my life that see what I love to do and, and just encourage me and are and have creative friendships like have people that are also artists that are trying to get their life together that you can do it together with and be there for and encourage each other that has been above and beyond probably one of the biggest things that's got me doing what I'm doing now so thank you so much awesome thanks for interviewing with me lauren and this is a wrap of the second video for the hometown series check back in the next one see you later